Good morning, grandchildren. How are you today? Oh, today is so nice out. I wish we could sit outside. If I had a bench out here, we could sit out here and read stories, couldn't we? Let's go inside. Look around and help yourself. Pick you out a snack and something to drink. No, no, not the mead. Naughty, naughty. I think I have some milk around here somewhere. Pick you out something to snack on and follow me. I think I think we'll go downstairs today and uh, sit in the enchanting room and read our story. I still haven't done anything with that room over there, but I'll get to it. <gasps> oh, my wheat is scattered all over the floor. What a mess. I'm sorry, kids. I'll pick it all up later. All of you gather around and uh, don't be scared for them mannequins over there. <laughs> They're not going to get you. Alrighty. I already have my book picked out, and today I don't want you to all feel like we're having a class in school or anything, but I found this book so interesting, and I thought you would like to hear it. This is a story about how it all began. A children's a nod, a, no, a nod, paraphrase. I don't know how to pronounce most of the words in my own world. But this is how everything began, and I thought you'd like to hear this story. The first ones, the very first ones, kids, were brothers, Anu and Padme. They came into the void and time began. Isn't that cool? As Anu and Padme wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness created Nur. Both Anu and Padme were amazed and delighted with her appearance, but she loved Anu and Padme retreated from them in bitterness. He's jealous because he likes her too. Nur became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padme returned, professing his love for Nur. She told him that she loved only Anu, and Padme beat her in a rage. <gasps> How awful of him! Anu returned and fought Padme and cast him outside of time. Nur gave birth to creation, but died from her injuries soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padme was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds in their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padme again. The long and furious battle ended with Anu the victor, thank goodness. He cast aside the body of his brother, who he believed was dead, and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the twelve worlds into one, Nern the worlds of Tamriel. As he was doing so, Padme struck him through the chest with one last blow. He wasn't dead after all. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time forever. The blood of Padme became the Daedra. The blood of Anu became the stars. The mingled blood 
of both of the brothers became the Adra, hence their capacity for good and evil, and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the twelve worlds of creation were the Elnofe, Elnofe, I don't know how to pronounce that either, but I'm sure it means elves, and the Hist. Elnofe are the ancestors of Mer and Min. The Hist are the trees of Argonia. Nern originally was all land with interspersed seas, but no oceans. A large fragment of the Elnofe world, Elnofe, landed on Nern, relatively intact, and the Elnofe living there were the ancestors of the Mer. These Elnofe fortified their borders from the chaos outside and hid their pocket of calm and attempted to live on as before. Other Elnofe arrived on Nern, scattered amid the confused jumble of the shattered worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering Elnofe found the hidden land of the old Elnofe and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living amid the splendor of ages past. The wandering Elnafe expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but the old Elnafe looked on them as degenerates, fallen from their former glory. What a shame! They weren't fallen, they just hadn't ever found the others. For whatever reason, war broke out and raged across the whole of Nern. The old Elnafe retained their ancient power and knowledge but the wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nern. This war reshaped the face of Nern, sinking much of the land beneath new oceans. How strange that a war could sink the land and leaving the lands as we know them now, Tamriel, Akavir, Atmoral, and Vakuda. The old Elnafe realm, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the wanderers were left divided on the other three continents. Over many years, the Elnafe of Tamriel became the Mer Elves. I knew that'd be Elves. The Dwemer, the, the Deep Ones, sometimes called Dwarves. The Shimmer, the Changed Ones who later became the Dunmer. The Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, the Dark Elves. The Bosmer, the Green and Forest Ones, the Wood Elves. And the Altmer, the Elder or High Ones, the High Elves. On the other continents, the wandering Elnafe became the men, the Nords of Etmora, the Red Guards of Okuda, and the Seski of Akavar. I never heard that they were called that. And I don't know how to pronounce it. The Hist were bystanders in the Elnafre War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become Black Marsh in Tamriel. But most of their realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, men returned to Tamriel. The Nords were the first, colonizing the northern coast of Tamriel before recorded history, led by the legendary Iskimor. The thirteenth of his line, King Harold, was the first to appear in written history, and so the mythic era ended. And that's the story, kids, of how it all began. 
So, I hope you will come back and visit me again, grandkids. Uh, maybe we'll sit somewhere else next time to tell the story, but I thought it'd be interesting to sit down here for a bit. Sorry about all the ugly skulls and stuff, and don't touch the wine down there. All right, kids, come back and visit me again for another story, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye, grandkids.